Alrighty, so we got my first legendary on the line. We got Goldstein on here. I know it's Goldstein because this guy has been putting up one hell of a fight. And yeah, like he's 165 feet out and we're slowly just trying to get him in here. We only got a 22 uh, pound length strength rod uh, in terms of our, our line. So we got to be really careful here. But if we just keep wearing them out and keep on playing with them, I'm sure we can get them. We just got to keep playing with them. And like there, as you guys can see, I mean, he is just absolutely tugging with me here. I just got to be patient and just keep reeling. Give him a little bit of room. But when it goes dark red like that, I do got to be very careful. Because my line can snap very easily. So we got to play it careful. That's exactly what we're going to be doing here. But we're just going to keep on trying to pump. And then when we, any anytime we get some uh, an opportunity to freaking reel there, we're going to take it. But it's it's not easy, guys. Especially with the rod I have. My rod is not the best, so you do got to keep that in mind. As you guys can see, I mean, he is just taking me on a freaking journey right now. This fish is a 27-pounder. He's absolutely gigantic. I've been trying to get him for the past freaking two, oh, two hours, and I finally got him on the line. Uh, I'm using the one aught frog right now which is a very big frog bait and he is just taking me for a ride <laughs> he is an absolutely gigantic fish this is my biggest fish I've ever had on a line before so I'm really putting my skills to the test here I really am as you guys can see I mean he is just freaking tugging man but he does he's a big bass okay he's a giant bass he will get wore out after a while I promise you I mean, he has to, right? I could be wrong. Maybe he's just an absolute unit of a fish, which we know he is. But we're doing our best here to slowly reel him in. It's going to be a long fight, ladies and gentlemen. But I hope you all are here to just stick in. Because man, oh man, it's going to take a minute. It's going to take a minute. But I think we can get him. I just got to be very patient. This could take up to 20 minutes plus some uh, just because this guy is an absolute chonker of a fish. An absolute chonker of a fish. So we just got to keep playing with him here. Keep wearing him out. Keep doing our thing. As you guys can see in the bottom left, I'm playing with my line tension right now. I'm, I'm, I don't want to go super crazy because that is a recipe for disaster he's getting a little war out here so i'm gonna be getting a little bit of ground maybe so notice we're doing the pumping trying to do more pumping he's wore out you know it's a fish at the end of the day they do wear out just like anybody else you know what i mean so we just gotta keep on tugging and keep on tugging and he'll slowly slowly start coming in we're actually making a lot of progress here but i think what's gonna end up happening is he's gonna bolt the second he gets in pretty close. Uh, he, he's tired right now, but he might get some back some energy and bolt off again. So we just got to keep playing with him here. And eventually uh, he'll, he'll, he'll surrender. Don't you worry. We just got to keep on tugging away. I might even increase my line tension here just a little bit. Because he is pretty tired. But like I said, I got to be careful because he might bolt off. Um, he's a big bass, guys. He's the biggest bass in the game, and bass get freaking huge. But this guy, yeah, there you guys, there you go. He's darting off there. He's getting a bit, he's getting a bit of strength back. But we're just gonna keep on pulling him in, keep on pulling him. You know, my line can only handle up to 20, 30, 40 pounds, uh, 20 to 40 pounds, and this guy is really a max weight for me in terms of fish. So, like I said, we can increase our tension there a little bit. But it's a fight, man. We've been going for about five minutes right now. And this is easily the biggest fight I've ever had with a fish. You know, my rod is not the biggest rod either in the world. I'll show you guys the gear afterwards if I manage to pull this guy in and get him. But my rod is not, like, anything spectacular in terms of weight. So we, we do definitely got to be careful here, like I said, uh, plenty of times. But we're, we're making some progress. We're getting him in here. 
He is an absolutely gigantic bass, and I'm surprised we've made this much progress thus far, but we're just keep on... We're just keeping the pumping strategy going, pulling the rod back, and then going back down again, getting some getting some line in. And we're going to keep on doing this over and over and over again. I want to wear him out, too. That's why I want to keep on pumping. But he is just not really giving me a whole lot of hassle, but he will. I guarantee you. Yep, there he goes. He's starting to dart off. He's got some strength back, but we gotta we just gotta play safe here. Keep on using that. Keep on using that rod. Uh, keep on using the rod as a little bit of tension there. He's going off about 60, 70 feet again, which is to be expected here. He's going off about 100 feet. But like I said, I knew he was gonna dart off. I absolutely knew it there. Ooh, I took a risk there with the hundred, uh, the hundred rod strategy, <laughs> the the uh, hundred, um, uh, whatever you call it, the um, rod tension or uh, line tension there. But as you guys can see, he's darting off 150, 60 feet. He's going back out again, but he's only delaying the inevitable. Ooh, I took a risk there. I almost snapped my line, but once again, we're he is back out to. 160, um, 170 feet, man. He just darts it out. But that is okay. We're gonna keep on playing the long game with him. This might take a while. We know it's gonna take a while. I'm probably gonna have to edit this down. But he is taking me for a ride, let me tell you. This is no joke of a bass here. I mean, he is an absolute chonker of a bass. So... Just gotta keep playing with him. Man, he is really fighting me here. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to get him, man. He is just taking me for a ride right now. Holy shit. Yeah, he is just he, oh man, look at that tension. 60 60% 60 on my on my line. And he is still, yeah, I mean, oh my gosh, this fish is an absolute fighter, man. I gotta take the patient route. I just gotta let him, let him, let him run it off. He's 41 feet down right now, and man, he is just taking this rod to the next level here. Oh man, he is no joke. Let me tell you. Oh yeah, see? Oh my gosh, this fish is huge. Oh, <laughs> he does not want this, dude. Alright, we just gotta play the patient game. Just gotta play the patient game. He's gonna run out of strength eventually. Let's just go up and down with the rod maybe here. There we go. Yep. 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 Oh, he is a fucking fighter, man. Pardon the language, but he is a freaking fighter, dude. Oh my goodness. Surely he has to give up eventually. Like, this fish could not have that much energy. I mean, it's only a 30-pound fish, you know. I mean, what do I know? But holy freaking smokes, dude. Oh, we might be sitting here for 15-plus minutes. I think I'm going to have to edit this video down, obviously, if I manage to catch this guy. Like, if I don't manage to catch him, that's going to be real unfortunate. But holy smokes. He is an absolute unit of a fish, ladies and gentlemen. We're still at the 170 mark, and he is just... Like I said, he's putting on an absolute fight. Oh my goodness, look at that line tension. He almost snapped it again. This fish, guys. I can't I can't emphasize enough, but he is no joke. He is no freaking joke, dude. I've never had a fish this strong before. Ever. I mean this guy is an absolute unit of a fish. I'm I'm doing my best here to try to wear him out. Kind of pull the rod back, pull it to the left, pull it to the right. And he is just not having it. He is just not having it. He has to get rod eventually, you know? I mean, he has to. No matter what beast it is. If it's a dragon, if it's a bear, a tiger, a cheetah. They have to get out eventually. Okay, and this is a fish. This is a very big fish. But he has to get wore out eventually. We know we can do it. We just got to play the patient game here. So, that's exactly what we're doing. 
We're trying to make as much progress as possible, but he is just not wanting to get past that 170 mark here. We're still in the 160, 168, 170 mark. He is just taking us for a wild freaking ride. And uh, that is to be expected with a fish like this. This is an absolutely gigantic fish. Um, we might be able to get some progress here. It looks like he might be wearing out. I mean, we're getting down. Oh, nope. He's going for a ride again. He is not having it. Yep, he just got a bolt of energy there. Not really. I mean, he got a little bit. But we're down 160 feet, so we got about 10 feet progress. We're back. Oh, he's bringing us out again. 170 feet. Yeah, he is just... He is just taking us for a wild ride, isn't he? Yeah. Goodness gracious. This fish is just fucking really fighting here. I mean, go bass. Holy hell. Oh, look at that line tension. He's just giving me no quarrel. No ground here. No opportunity to make any sort of progress. I might have to give him some more line. Maybe maybe decrease the line tension a little bit down to 30%. Yeah, let's do that. Let's decrease the line tension down to 30%. Maybe get some free pumps in. Because the pumping is what really wears him out. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I, I say that. And he just does not like the pumps. He, he's not accepting that. Yeah, no, he does not. Nope. Yeah, he is just really putting on a fight, ladies and gentlemen. He is putting on an absolute fight. I mean, he's been at the 170 mark for the past two, three minutes now. We've been going for 11 minutes, almost 12 minutes into this fight with this guy. He is just not letting me uh, take any progress here. Gold freaking steam, ladies and gentlemen. This fish is absolutely gigantor. He is giving me no, 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 no quarrel here. Yeah, I, I'm trying to freaking. I really am trying. My damnedest to just pull this guy in. But he is not allowing me. What a freaking fish, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try to do 70 here. Not too much on the line tension. We just want to pull as much as we can without breaking the rod. That's very important. I'm not gonna give up now. We've been going for 12 minutes. I don't wanna I don't wanna give up on this fish. I mean like we've been going for too long. You know what I mean? Alright, he looks a little wore out, so we're getting some more progress here. Which is good. Oh, look at that. He's got a bolt of energy again. Boom, he's back out to 170 feet plus some. Man, this fish is just not letting me get any progress here whatso freaking ever. Yeah, he's just not letting me get any sort of progress. Which is to be expected with a fish of this size, but... Holy fucking shit, man. I, I just can't get any progress. Oh. Alright, let's just kind of play with the rod here and try to just hold it back. Reel. Hold it back. We're getting some pumps in, but I guarantee he's going to bolt again. See, that's the problem with this fish. He'll, he'll give you some progress, and he will bolt. He will bolt. I don't have an extremely powerful rod either. So we could easily be here for an hour. Like, this fish is just... A very, very strong fish. I cannot emphasize that enough. You're mine, dude. Yep, we just gotta keep pumping whenever we get the opportunity. Keep pumping the rod back. No, 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 you don't. You stop. You don't go out to 70 feet again, 170. We're not doing that game. You're mine. Your ass is grass, home skillet. He's probably, he's probably like, no, 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 your ass is grass. He's been down this rodeo before. 
Oh man, I've never fought a fish for this long. This is crazy. We've been going for 15 minutes. God, this fish is nuts. I will say, it is fun. Like, I've been out here for two, three hours trying to get this guy on the line. But I did not expect this guy's potential. He is just crazy, guys. Like, it may look easy to you, but it really isn't. I, I promise you all, it's it's not easy. Like, this is, this is far from easy. Look at that, he just brought out another 30 feet of line. Oh, this fish, man. You little shit burglar. You little shit burglar. Just gotta hold that rod back. Keep playing with him. Let me get a little bit of progress there, get a few feet. And it's just, that's all it is. It's a tug of war, ladies and gentlemen. Think of just two giants going at it, tug of war, for an hour or two. That's literally what this is. Oh, man. This fish, if I actually manage to get this guy, I will be freaking amazed, but it's a fight, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. It's a fight, especially when you don't have a super, super heavy rod. It is it is most certainly a fight. This is my first legendary I've ever had on a, on a, on a, on a line before. This is my first legendary I've ever had on a line, so this is this is something special for me. I will say it is it is most certainly Hello, difficult. Buck, it's Clay. Just I don't got time for this Clayton Johnson. AKA the warden. I'm trying to battle a freaking fish of my life right here. Oh man. We've been going for almost 17 minutes, almost 20 minutes. We're closing in on that mark. Oh, this fish is just not letting me. He's an absolute unit, man. Just keep pulling. Keep tugging, that's what she said. But yeah, it's it definitely applies to this situation. We're making progress, but I feel like once we get him again, he's just gonna bolt. This is that's probably what's gonna happen, you know? He's just gonna bolt once we get him up here. We just gotta keep pulling him. Hope for the best. Yep, he, he does not want to go. He does not want to come up to this bow. He knows what happens. Oh, look at that. I'm just trying to hold the rod back. Just absorb as much of that tension as I possibly can. No, you don't. No, 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 no. I don't care. You ain't going back out to 100 feet, dude. You're going to have to literally go into fucking Spartan mode on me. This is Sparta if you want to get back out to 100 feet. You are not doing that shit with me, dude. Uh-uh. I'm not scared to go into the red for a second or two there. I've been down that rodeo. Your ass is grass, home skillet. Oh, look at the... I mean, you guys, you guys probably don't know. I'm sure a majority of you guys that are watching the video probably don't play this game. But there's a lot of fish in this game, and, and, and usually it only takes about 20, 30 seconds to reel in most fish. Even even big pike, you know, only takes me about 45 to a minute. But this fish is easily the biggest fish I've ever, ever had on my rod. This is crazy. I've, I've never, <laughs> never freaking uh, reeled in a fish this big. And, and not to mention, look at that, there he is, he's darting again. Oh my goodness. Yep, he's going, this is Sparta mode. He's darting again. We just gotta hold the rod back. Give him no quarrel. No, 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 you don't. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. I refuse. I refuse to let you go back out to 170 feet. I refuse. You are not going past 170 again. So don't even try it, Goldstein. That's his name, by the way. I'm not even kidding. Goldstein. He's a giant bass. But this time we're making a bit more progress. He didn't, he didn't go out to 170 feet. So that's huge. But it's just a giant tug of war match here. And we're just playing the long haul. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, this fish is only a fish. And he has... He has freaking strength, but it's gonna run out eventually. He can only do this for so long. I can do this all day because I've got the magic of video game power. On my side, I've got the magic of video game power. Something that this fish does not have. He is only a fish. 
<laughs> and we want him. So we're playing the long haul here. Oh, look at that. He's got some strength there. We just got to keep pulling back. Go into the red a little. Uh-uh. No. No. Get your ass back here, home skillet. You ain't going back out there. Uh-uh. I refuse to let that happen. Not on my watch, dude. But yeah, it's funny because in this game, if you guys didn't know, each fish has, like, its own feel. Like, each fish in this game has its own sort of feel. I can't explain it, but when you reel in a fish, um, especially the bigger ones like pike and trout and stuff like that, they have their own feel. And some of them you can reel in super easy. Some of them you have to kind of battle. You have to pump them in. You gotta let them give a little bit of line here and there, but you... This one, I will say, has its own feel in being one of the most toughest fish I've ever freaking reeled into my life. Um, you know, on this rod in particular, I catch some pretty decent, you know, maybe at most 16, 17 pound uh, muskies and trout. But I've never had anything over 18, 19 pounds before on this rod. So this is really something. Like, this fish has so much strength. It's not even funny. Like, I have to be super careful here. But I'm still, like I said, we're just playing with the uh, rod here. We're really trying to pull back whenever we can. Once again, he's getting some bits, he's getting some bursts of strength there. We just gotta keep on playing with him here. Keep on playing with him. Honestly, I might not even edit this video down. I might just post it as like a 20 minute long battle. Some of you guys might be up for that. Uh, just call it the 20 minute battle with... 27 pound bass Goldstein but I want him man I will stay here for 30 40 minutes if I have to it shouldn't take that long he should wear out hopefully before then I mean we've gotten we've gained a lot of progress here on this fish so far so he's just kind of getting a feel for where his no-no area is in terms of like the rod strength we got about 75 percent now we're gonna increase it just a little bit get some more line tension and if we need to, we can always decrease it. Like there, he's he's going out again, so we want to be careful. Yep, there he goes. He's got some bits of strength, but we're not letting him. Notice that we're pulling this rod back. We're putting as much strain onto the metal and the steel. You know what I mean? We don't want to put too much strain on the, on the line. Because the line is what could snap. The rod doesn't snap. So we just want to hold him here. Reel in. Pull back again. Pump that rod. Hold him back. Wear him out. He's he's really trying to go, but he, we're not letting him. We are not letting him. I'm just going to start reeling in again. Look at that. He's going again. This fish is really putting on a fight. Like, I I can't believe we've been sitting here for 23 minutes with this fish. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, there he goes again. He just got a very big bit of strength there. But... I'm wondering if he'll ever give up. Will he give up, ladies and gentlemen? We're, we have him in at 34 feet. We might be able to get eyes on him if he doesn't do a big Sparta mode and just dart out to the ocean again. Or the lake. So far, we're doing very good here, managing our line tension. He's, he's trying to get away. There we go. There's a Sparta mode right there. He just almost darted again, but we're not having it. We need to frickin' maintain that line tension, maintain that, that rod tension. There's two differences there. The rod itself. We're trying to play around with that. Really be careful. But we're doing great here. We got him about 30 feet. And the only thing that could save him is if he gets a big Sparta moment and just fucking darts it. Gets a big pump of adrenaline and just goes for it. That's the only thing that could save him. Uh, but... It's only a matter of time before he does wear out. You can fight for a long time, but it's only a matter of time. And we got him we got him in at about 20 feet here. Looks like our arm is like messed up. I don't know why we just don't turn our body. But there we go. We got him right here. I don't know if we'll be able to get him. I don't know if he's going to dart again. Oh yeah, look at that. He's darting. He's darting. But we're not having it. No, 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 you don't. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 you don't. Nice try, Goldstein. No, no, no. Oh, look at that. He's darting, ladies and gentlemen. 
Oh, he got a little bit of Sparta left in him. A little bit of Spartan. Spartan blood left in him. But it's not enough. Human strength. Video game strength as well, not to mention. But yeah, no. You are mine. Your ass is grass. But you guys probably did get a little bit of a look at him. He is an absolutely gigantic fish. But oh my gosh, we're about 25 minutes into this fight here. And we're just pulling him, pulling him, pulling him. Using that rod tension. I can't accept, I can't emphasize that enough. If you guys are trying to catch fish like this with a rod like this, using your rod more than your, your reel. I mean, I'm still reeling, as you guys can see, but I'm trying to use that rod there. Pumping the rod back. Pumping it. Pumping the rod is so important. You know, I can't emphasize that enough. But, oh, look how big he is. Look at this fish. He does not want it. Get your ass back here, bud. Come on. I'm going to release you anyway, Goldstein. This is a fishing reserve that does not allow catch and keep, so you're going to get released. Just surrender. I... You have, you have fought honorably, good sir. Wave the white flag. Wave the white flag, Goldstein. Come on. Come on, Goldstein. Give up. Give up. Come on. Have some... Have some honor in this fight. You've, you have... You have fought valiantly, but I think it's time to, to, to take a breather, bro. Come on, Goldstein. Give it up, home skillet. No, 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 no. Come here. You are not going away from me. You are not. This has been a half an hour fight. You are not. It's over. Give up. You got a little bit of progress there, but... Uh, uh, uh. American Steel is not going to have it, good sir. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. Give it up. Surrender with honor. Come on. Oh, he, he's going back out again, but I'm not letting him. See, I'm trying to really just pump this rod. Get as much tension on that rod instead of the line so I can just keep pulling him back. Oh. <laughs> Come here, Goldstein. Come on, I need, I need you, man. We've been fighting for 30 minutes. Give it up. Oh, look how big he is. Look how big this fish is. Oh, he does not want me... He does not want me catching him. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's getting this. He still has some energy in him, guys. But notice we're just working him in slowly but surely, pumping that rod, reeling, pumping. We're just we're just alternating between that left pump and just oh man. Just pumping his ass in. Oh yeah, he's got a little bit of energy, but it, he will wear out. See, he's wearing out slowly. And with a 22-pound uh, rod, I'll show you guys the setup here after this, uh, after we get him. But we're pumping him in, pumping him in. Oh, we're about to get him. Goldstein, have you, have you? Oh, we got him. There we go. <laughs> Goldstein, ladies and gentlemen, he fought with honor. Oh my goodness gracious. We got him with the um, with the frog there, and I will show you guys the rod setup, but as you guys can see, we absolutely just nailed him there. That was an awesome fight. It was a half an hour, but it was freaking worth it, man. He was a 27-pound uh, largemouth bass, I believe. Yeah. Look at this fish. <laughs> That's my first legendary, though. And, uh, yeah, quite a long video. I don't think I'm even going to edit it down. Just going to have a whole fight here for you guys. But holy smokes. 14,000 score. That's my new best rank, obviously. We used a frog. I'm going to release him back to the wild because we got what we needed. But there we go. That's him. But I will show you guys the rig real quick. As you guys can see, I'm only using... 
like a pretty, I have a pretty decent rod here. It's a 50 found, uh, 55 pound uh, strength rod. And the max line strength is 22 pounds. So my line can only handle 22 pounds. But a majority of the, the battle was with that pumping. That pumping is what made me able to pull him in. Uh, I wore him out slowly. Managing that line tension, pumping him in, pumping him in. And, and that's what ultimately got him there. Uh, the bait I was using was a Ot1 frog. This is a very large frog. I was actually art. I was alter. Uh, I was alternating between frog, and um, and uh, popper bait. I was going between these two. Ultimately, the frog is what got him. But just from that one fight, we got 63% of mastery on the frog. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. If we go over to the uh, handbook, he's right there. We got him. We freaking got Goldstein. But yeah. So if you guys are wanting to catch Goldstein at the time of recording this, uh, so. Uh, until Thursday, I think. Goldstein is in this area. He can spawn along these coastlines here. He can spawn down here. He can spawn out here. We managed to pull him right about out here, where my crosshair is. Right out in this area. And literally, he can be anywhere in this area. Okay? So, keep that in mind. And if he's already if he's already been caught on your server, uh, you will have to server swap and, and hopefully uh, catch him on a different server. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, that is, uh, that is it. That is, um, that's my first legendary fish. What a freaking fight. And, man, that was something. But nonetheless, 30-minute video. I think we're going to keep it 30 minutes. I think we're not even going to edit that. Just a huge fight, um, with the, uh, with Goldstein there. The 20, uh, the third, well, yeah, 27-pound largemouth bass. What a freaking fight. That was fun. 30 minutes, but I think it was worth it in the end. What do you guys think? But nonetheless, if you guys are wanting to play this game, it is called um, Call of the Wild, The Angler, okay? It is right now free on Game Pass uh, for Game Pass users. I'm playing it on the Xbox, and you guys can also play it on PC and all that. So, nonetheless, I will catch you on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.